smile is a smile everywhere, no matter where you come from. But as more and more of our lives become interwoven with technology, we're losing our ability to connect at a deep level with each other. What if computers could read and understand our emotions just the way we do? Over 17 years ago, I got a scholarship to Cambridge University. I realized I was spending more hours with my laptop than I was with any other human being, which is sad, I know. <laughs> and there were days when I was really, really homesick. In fact, there were days when I would be in tears and I'd be chatting with my family and they would have no clue how I was feeling except for a silly, sad face emoticon that I could send. And I just felt that all the nuances and all the richness of, of my feelings disappeared in cyberspace. And I just had this aha moment, like what would it take to get our technologies and our devices to understand us just in the same way? From that point on, I started imagining what it would take to build an emotionally intelligent machine. As it turns out, the way people read each other's emotions, only 10% is in the words you're saying, about 30% is in how you say those words, and the rest is all facial expressions and gestures. Emotion AI is a multi-billion dollar industry that can transform many industries and verticals. Everything from media and advertising research to retail, healthcare, education, autonomous vehicles, and social robotics. The commercial side, I think, is just the beginning. The long-term potential is actually to instill in all of our lives the ability to measure emotion and use it to help improve emotional interactions that we have with each other every day. One of the early use cases of this technology is to help people on the autism spectrum read and respond to other people's social signals. Do you see your mom's face? All right. We've built technology that can use things like Google Glass to help these individuals to process this information in real time. We're able to get a tool out to potentially millions of people around the world that allows them to connect their own family members in ways they never have before. Good job. For me, this is an opportunity to build empathy between us and machines, between us and businesses and organizations, and fundamentally between us and, and other human beings. Yeah. <laughs> We've spent the past 50 years interacting with computers with their language, but now we live in a world where we're connected to devices 24-7, and the time has come where computers can interact with us using our language.